In this video, I'm going to show you the Pancake Panning VST plugin in Reaper. Now the Pancake VST plugin will allow us to create panning effects in a completely customizable way. And like all the plugins I've shown you, this one is also 100% free. So if we go to their website, it should look like this. And all you have to do without even sharing our email or creating and signing up for an account is click right here and download it for PC or Mac. And once it's downloaded and installed, we can reopen Reaper. Now a project set up here with a synth and some backing tracks to go with it. Let's hear it right now. Now I'm pretty happy with it, but as you could tell, the sound only comes from the middle as it's a mono synth. So we could add this pancake plugin to create some movement in the stereo field. Let's take a look. We'll go to the effects on the track. Here's the synth we're hearing. We could double click to add another plugin. And let's search pan. And if it's installed correctly, we should see it right here. This version is called Pancake 2. Double click it, and it adds it to this track. And make sure you put it after any synth you're using. Although this will work with any audio you have. Could be a guitar, piano, string, any acoustic instrument, but also a VST synth, as we're doing here. Just make sure you put it after any other plugins. And when you open it up, the plugin looks like this. And as we can see, here's the left and here's the right channels. And the sound's gonna move along this line, letting us know the panning we're gonna hear. Notice it's moving right now based on the speed we set up in here. We could sync it to the beat or based on hertz, which will give us a knob to go faster or slower. Let's solo it to hear it now. Notice it moves from left to right, but it's not based on the tempo of the song because we chose hertz synced. But instead, we could choose it to beat, and it's based on our tempo. So it's set to two bars. So the length from here to here is two bars long. But we could change it to one bar, and it'll be twice as fast. Notice it starts in the center and moves to the left and right. If you want to change that or change where it starts, we could adjust the arrow so it starts on the left and moves to the right. And again, we can make it faster at a half note. Or quarter note. We'll go really fast to give it a stuttering effect. Almost distorting the signal. Let's put it back to one bar. Let's check out what else we could do. We can create points just by clicking over here and then moving it. We can decide the strength of those points by right clicking once and then twice. And now if I move it, it moves completely, allowing us to create more aggressive points. We can clear it right here. So we start all over in mono. We could lock the points right here. So if I double click to create a point, it's gonna to lock to our graph. So if I create another one over here, that's gonna lock. Same with this one, and it locks to our grid. 
We could choose this right here, which will change it to a sine wave, which moves really smoothly. Or this one, which makes it a triangle wave, which is a bit more aggressive. And again, we could shift it so it starts on the left, or it starts on the right. And if we create a bunch of points, we can then randomize them right here. And if we want to create a square wave, let's start again. Let's move it to the right. Double click over here and right click twice to make the curve more aggressive. Move it to the left. Double click over here. Right click twice. Drag this down here. Do the same thing down here and drag it over. And now we have a square wave. So instead of going from left to right smoothly, it will go completely hard left to completely hard right with nothing in between. Let's hear that. And again, we could change the speed to be two bars. Or shorten it to be a quarter note. Let's delete this again, put it back to one bar, and we could also create a unique custom wave using the steps drawing. So we can click this, and if we draw right here, it creates a step. Let's draw from here over for the first four steps, and from here over for the next four steps. And then for each step, we'll alternate left and right, and then two steps to the left, and two steps to the right. Of course, you can create your own, but this is a customized waveform for panning in a custom way. Let's hear it in the track. Now if it pans too far to the left and right, instead of adjusting it here on each section, we can just change the mix knob. So I bring it all the way down to zero, we're gonna hear it in mono. But if we bring it up, it'll widen the image while still using a custom waveform. If we want to reverse it, we could right click up here and flip the channels. Now it works from right to left, but using the same custom waveform. So let's hear it with some delay added. So it's a great plugin that once again is free for panning on mono sources to make them sound more wide in a customized way. So that's pretty much it. That's the Pancake Panning BST plugin in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.
Bye.